Hi first grade, it's Miss Martin here. I'm going to go ahead and read you our story for this week. Um, you should have a hard copy of this story that you got in your packet of work. So I'm just going to read it to you one time this week and then the rest of the week you can either one, you can rewatch this video, or you can read it your the hard copy on your own. Okay, so our story this week is called Meet Rosina, and the question, our essential question, and the question that we're trying to answer this week is who helps you? So I want you to be thinking about who helps you, especially during this time when you're doing school at home. Who is helping you? Who is um, cooking your food, maybe doing your laundry, helping you with your chores, helping you with your schoolwork? Who is helping you? Okay, you also, after you read this, you're going to do this page together. Um, this one's a little bit different. You've never done this one before, so if we run out of time on this video, I'll go ahead and post another video that has um, this with it, and we're going to do this together. Okay, so our story is Meet Rosina by George and Kona. And just like in our past couple stories, we've had like illustrators or people who have done the pictures, but these pictures are actually pictures, they're not drawings, they're pictures of real people. So there's no illustrator because they're actually real pictures of real people. Okay. Hi, I'm Rosina. I am deaf, so I talk with my hands. Let me go ahead and move this so you can make sure you can see it. I go to a special school for deaf children. All our teachers teach with American Sign Language. We call this signing. We study math, writing, reading, and art. It's the same as in other schools. My brother Emilio also goes to my school. We play basketball during recess. My mother and aunt are deaf too. They both work at my school. Mom is a teacher's helper. My Aunt Carol shows us pictures of students who used to go to the school. My mom was one of them. My aunt often tells stories about when my parents were young. Sometimes we go to the school library. Our librarian, Heidi, signs stories from different Sign stories from the books in the library. Heidi is good at telling stories. She makes us feel as if we're in the story. The story can make us feel sad, scared, worried, or happy. I love going to art class. I like to paint. Here I am painting a picture of myself. Our class made up a story. It is about a deaf father who woke up one day with four arms. We wrote it and did all of the pictures. Then we made it into a book called Too Many Hands. I like sports. We are playing rugby. The way we play is to tag the person carrying the ball. Then he or she throws it to another player on the team. By running fast, we can get away and cross the goal line. Our team played another our team played other schools. We beat all of the other teams and accepted a big trophy. We were then we were so happy. We splashed our coach in water. Some of us got wet too. We are all friends so no one got mad. After school, I shower and change my clothes for dinner. Mom likes to fix my hair. She puts it up in a bun like her mother did. At home, we all help mom cook meals. I chop lettuce, Emilio cuts up cheese, and dad makes guacamole. After dinner, dad and I play a game of chess. Emilio roots for me. Mom, dad, Emilio, and me, that's my family. But there are, two, there are many more too. We are a big family. I have lots of aunts, cousins, grandpas, and grandmas. Most of my mom's family is deaf. My whole family uses sign language to talk to each other. This is how we sign goodbye. The end. So this is the author, George Acona. So in this story, you would have no idea just by looking at these students from the school, like right here, you would have no idea that they could not hear, right? 
So that's a really big thing that they, you can even tell that they couldn't hear, which is super cool. So I want you to go ahead and find this worksheet. We're going to go ahead and get started and work on the author's purpose for this story. Okay, so now that you have this, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to need to put our name and number at the top of our paper. So make sure your name and number is at the top so Ms. Martin can see it. And what they want us to do for this paper, we've never really talked about author's purpose. So basically what they want us to find is they want us to identify what the author wrote the story about. Why did he write this story? What was he trying to tell us in this story? And by writing the story, what was he trying to tell us? So we have to come up with a couple of clues to help us find our purpose, okay? So it's kind of a little bit easier to find your purpose first and then go ahead and see find clues about that. So our author's purpose for this story, since Rosina is, um, she has a disability because she's not able to hear, so she goes to a special school. And our essential question this week is who helps you? So just from all of those clues, our author's purpose is really about, um, how a bunch of people help Rosina because of her disability or because of she's not able to hear. So our purpose is, I'm gonna go ahead and write it and then I want you to write the same thing that I write. So the author's purpose is to show how people help Rosina because of she can't hear. So we're gonna put author's purpose is, we're gonna put to show how everyone helps Rosina because she can't hear. So that is our that is our main purpose. That was the reason why our author wrote the story. So go ahead and pause this video if you need to so you can go ahead and copy this all down. Um, you can copy what I wrote exactly. You don't have to come up with something on your own, but if you want to, you can also do that as well. But you can go ahead and copy this. So go ahead and pause it, and then once you're done, hit play, and we're going to move on to clue number one. Okay, so clue number one. So to our author's purpose was to show how everyone helps Rosina because she can't hear. So they show us her family and how her mom and her aunt help and her dad and brother help her. Then they even show her school and how her coach and her teachers and librarians all help her. So our first clue about people that are helping her is her family because they show the author shows how her mom and her aunt and her brother and her dad all help Rosina. So our clue, our first clue is, um, we're going to put Rosina's, Rosina's family helps her a lot. And then down here, we're going to put a couple examples of who. So we're going to put her mom and her aunt. Because those are the two people that they really talked about the most. So Rosina's family helps her a lot. Her mom and her aunt. Once you have, if you don't have this, go ahead and hit pause and copy it down. And then hit play once you're ready to move on to clue number two. Okay. So for clue number two, I was talking about how they were showing people who help them. So we have Rosina's family helps her. They also talked about Rosina's school because she goes to a special school. Um, that especially, is, ex, ugh, sorry, blah, 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 Miss Barn can't talk. She goes to a special school that helps her because she can't hear. So it's a school that will help support her in all of those ways. So we're going to go ahead and do for our clue two, her school helps her and all of her teachers help her at school. Like her coach and the librarian was one of them and her teacher. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do Rosina, let's see, Rosina's. School helps her learn. And we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna do Rosina's school helps her learn. So just like how I'm helping you right now with this worksheet, Rosina's school helps her a little bit more because, you know, she's not able to hear, so she has to, she can't just, I can't just tell her like I'm telling you right now, I'd have to sign everything in sign language. So her school really helps her learn um, 
especially in sign language. So once you have this worksheet, or once you, if you don't have this, go ahead and pause it. Once you are done with this, and you are done with page 286, you can flip it over, do the vocabulary side, do any of the other papers that you have to do today. Okay, so for the rest of the week, you have to read the Rosina story again. You can go ahead and rewatch this video if you don't want to read it on your own, but I really, really, really want you to read it on your own at least once this week. And I think that is it. So once you're done with this, you're good to go, and I will see you all tomorrow for reading.